Hey collective, welcome to Queen Airbender Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your midweekly channel reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. Now I'm going to tell you guys, when I initially meditated over this energy, I only got one song, but since then I've been getting multiple songs just like kind of just rushing in. And I'll see if I'll include those songs because I do feel like that those songs may be a part of like a part two. So if it's the second reading that I should do, then I'm going to go ahead and go with it. But um, for now, I'm just going to give you guys a song that I initially channeled. So when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I heard was Laundry Map by Nivea. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. Now, Miss Nivea happens to be an Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the visual. You could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or something specific could be happening in Aries season, which is March April. And I do feel like it has to do with some changes. I'm going to tell you also, even if you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, or I'm, I am getting something associated with Valentine's Day. Like something that happened or didn't happen has affected some type of situation, a domestic relationship for some of you guys, okay? Because you, in both decks, you had the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is about working together, establishing something, establishments, faculties, um, facilities, so it could be something that happened around that time with your actual place of employment or more than anything with somebody that you have an established relationship, especially romantic. Now, with the song Laundromat, I literally immediately heard it's time to do the laundry and take out the trash, cleaning up house. They got to go. I heard it just like that and I had to write it down and say it just like I heard it. So there's multiple messages with that. And this is not just about a romantic relationship. For a lot of you guys, again, I'm, I'm getting stuff with establishments and places of employment and things like that also. So this could apply to needing to clean up house. And you know what they're saying, clean up house. is like it's time to get rid of shit that no longer aligns with you. Okay. Now this could literally be talking about some of you guys need to do some type of cleaning get stuff stacked up and, and put in boxes, put seasonal stuff away. And also, you know, just get rid of things that you're no longer using because it's just creating clutter. And when you have a lot of clutter, you remove the energy of free flow. And we, when you remove the energy of free flow, you don't allow new stuff to come into your life. So some of you guys are needing to release some things that, you know, you no longer can fit. You know, it no longer is your style anymore, like furniture, objects, like, you know, things like this, like vases and stuff. Like, Because I'm just getting somebody like having a renewal. Like redecorating their home, bringing more stuff and, you know, more bright colors or just different things into your space because everything that's in your surroundings, it affects you one way or another. So I am getting that also. So I'm, as far as that clean up house, I'm definitely getting that. And going back to, um, you know, they got to go. Some of you guys, again, I'm going to say I'm definitely getting love interest. Some of you guys may have just been staying in a situation because of comfort, because of history. Because again, I had the three of pentacles. Pentacles is about things that you have set roots with. You're comfortable with it. Somebody may have possibly become complacent. You or your person. Whatever the case, I feel like there's a feeling like deep in somebody's soul. Like you could just feel like, okay, it's time for me to let go of this because it, it just doesn't align with what I am and who I am and what I'm trying to do in my life anymore. It's, it's no longer on this path. And in no way am I saying for you to just get rid of your person or just walk away from something that has roots to it. But if your soul is telling you like, this is keeping me stuck. You're going to continue to feel stuck if you continue to stay in that energy. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting there. And again, you would know if this applies to you. This would not apply to everyone. And then as far as doing the laundry, again, I'm getting like, I am seeing like bags of laundry just piled up. Again, just creating stagnancy. You know, again, when you have energy of just dirt and and, and I'm not <laughs> I'm not calling anybody dirty or anything. Like you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. Like I have teenagers and I have to go in their room and say, hey, go wash them clothes. Like you just got clothes just piled up right here. Stuff like that. Because that does create energies of stagnancy. You know, it just, it, 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 dirt and, and, and I'm hearing grime. Okay, let me tell you what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, especially if you have basements in your home, it's like time to do a thorough cleaning. Because you know when stuff just breathes, that is negative energy. Also, everything has energy. So it's like some type of deep cleaning needs to happen in someone's space. And we all have been in that place. I don't care how much of a neat freak you are. You're always, every day, things create clutter and dust and things like that. So I'm just getting stuff like cleaning up your space because it cleans up the aura and the vibration. When you're in a, in a you know, environment where it's like 
dusty and murky and things like that, you, you have to take care of that energy because it does affect your overall health, well-being, not just your physical health, but your spiritual health also because everything, like I said, has an aura. Anything that has life energy surrounding it, it has an aura. So I am getting that also. It, again, I'm going to say the part where I said and take the trash out. I'm definitely getting like cutting people off and cutting situations off that are no longer aligned with you and it just creates clutter and, and drama in your life. I keep hearing clutter. Either physical, energetic, spiritual clutter. That's the that's the overall message that I'm getting here today. Okay. So you guys had a spirit animal also, and the spirit animal you guys had was the porcupine, okay? So in association with the porcupine, it talks about being defensive or needing to defend yourself in one way or another, protection shielding, having to address touchy topics, being underestimated, and then sensitive to criticism. Now, these these topics may apply to you or someone that you're dealing with, and, and you have to be the deliverer of some type of, you know, tough love or some type of um, hopefully positive criticism. And I know that people don't think that's a thing, but it is. Because when you have positive criticism, you're telling people the truth, but you know they may not take it the way that you mean it. And that's why the part of that says touchy topics. Cause for some of you guys, it's something that you needed to address a long time ago and you did not address it. And now it kind of manifested into clutter. That's what I feel like the overall message is. It's like, you can't have clutter if you don't allow things to just pile up. So this is just like a pile up of things is what I'm getting here. And, it, and now it's coming to a head and needs to be addressed because it's like, it's just going to keep manifesting into more and more and more clutter. Okay. Um, so there's a message with that. Now I also have some names. First, middle, last, this could be you or love interest or anybody in this situation. First, middle, last, this also could be street names or addresses. Hamilton, John, Nash, London, Navy, Christian, Lauren, Wayne, Cameron, Michael, and Carter. So first, middle, last initials could apply to any of those. First, middle, last names. Also, like I said, locations and addresses. Okay. And I'm also getting the number four. 15. So whenever I give you guys numbers, make sure you look it up. Angel number 415 and leave in the comment section below how that resonates. And you guys know I always check the comments and I always respond. So let me know how that resonates for you if it does. So let's get into your reading. We're going to get the sun and the moon and we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for the collective, okay? And I'm just going to say it because I keep hearing this damn song. And, and I have to say, disclaimer, I don't support the artist who is in this song. I just have to say that. But I keep hearing this song, so I know I have to say it. Because I'm even hearing it more than I'm hearing Laundry Mat, which was the initial song that I heard. The song that I heard was Love Angel by JS. Um, one of the members is a Pisces. I don't know what the other one is. But JS stands for Johnson's sister. So someone's last name could be Johnson also. You can have a sister that you look identical, identical to or your person can. And yeah, also Capricorn, because the person who funded that group or was in the the other artist who was in that group is a Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone whose name is Robert or Kelly, or that could be you also. I'm also getting Kim as well, okay? So let me shuffle up right a couple times. Y'all keep hearing the Love Angels, and see, that's what I'm saying. I feel as though something, you know, immediately when I heard Love Angels, it made me think about Cupid, Cupid's arrow, and I felt like, you know, Cupid is a big staple for Valentine's Day, and we just, that just passed. So I feel like something significant happened or did not happen that changed somebody's outlook on their connection with a certain person is what I'm getting. And I just seen that Three of Pentacles. I don't know if you guys seen that in the last shuffle. So it's something... March could play a big role also. Someone's birthday could be in March. Or you could be a life path or a personal year three. Okay. So let's go ahead. Bottom of the deck now you have Major Arcana, the Temperance card, Sagittarius. Temper yourself, being patient, waiting things out, allowing things to heal, balance, and align. I'm going to say again, like some of you guys may have been just allowing things to, you just were being patient, just sitting still on a situation until you felt like it was the right time to address it is what I'm getting. And remember, I was talking about clutter. Now, even though this looks like beautiful clutter, it is clutter, though. If you think about it, she has all these different fabrics wrapped around her. So it's just like if you keep allowing something to just keep moving and going in the same direction as going, you're going to feel kind of wrapped up in multiple situations that is just causing um, some type of confusion. And, and definitely, I'm getting the vibe that some of you guys need to make a choice between one or the other. It's two things that you may need to make a choice over. And I did mention Pisces here, and you got water here, and I did say Nivea was a fire sign. So you got water and fire here. So somebody may have to make a choice between two different people. Or 
going into Pisces season, which is directly after Aquarius season, some of you guys may have to make um, take some type of action on something that you've been kind of sitting on and waiting things out for for a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the deck. Five of Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Yeah, I really get this. Somebody, like I said, I'm getting an energy that you or someone is wanting to end something possibly because they feel like there's another person involved or there's some something else. Somebody's um, past is haunting them because this is a ghost, which means a ghost is someone from the past. They're not here presently. So somebody's past could be haunting them. I'm getting that also. So again, let's go ahead and get you guys Major Arcana, Sun, and the Moon. And a card comes before and a card comes after. So here's the moon. So you have the two of cups. That's what I say. I feel like for a lot of y'all, it's definitely involving like a love interest with the two of cups here. Then you have the moon. And then right, wow. And right behind it, you got three of swords. And then you got the ace of wands. I'm going to tell you immediately what I'm getting here. Some of you guys need to release somebody in order for you to be able to move on with your new love. And for some of you guys, you already released someone. And new love will be coming in. Somebody could also be questioning um, whether or not it's safe to move on from a situation. Because if you go back to what we see in that Five of Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold, I'm definitely getting like somebody like, okay, it, it may be difficult to take care of myself financially. And it doesn't have to be that you don't have any income, but it's just like, you know, two incomes is always better than one. So that could be something that's questionable to someone out there is what I'm getting. And I knew it for a lot of you guys. It's definitely involving a love interest. That that hands down is telling me like love interest. And it's interesting because I kept saying in both of those decks, I got the three of pentacles. And then you have the three of swords here right now. So some of you guys could be seeing three, three, three. So again, Google angel number three, three, three and see how that message relates for you all. But there's definitely a brand new start. Ace of wands, passion, connectivity, forward movement, action. So there's some type of action that needs to be taken for sure. And I said earlier, Nivea, one of the main artists for the song that I heard, Laundry Map, she's an Aries, and that's fire. You got that right here? I feel like something brand new is going to be starting off in Aries season for you all, but it's getting ready to play out right now. There could be a breakup. But here's the thing, like I said, I'm not putting negative energy out there, so I don't want you to take this this way. What I'm getting is, if this, if there's this breakup, this has been a long time coming. This is not something that anyone would be surprised about. This has been a long time coming. But it's like the moment that things wrap up, You'll feel more alive. If you look at this picture, there's no way that you can look at this and not see vitality. There's vitality and action happening here. So it's like letting go of someone is actually going to cause things to start moving forward. And I know that also because right behind this heart, there's flames coming from behind it. So I'm going to tell you right now, something that's getting ready to happen during this time frame, it's going to make it's going to make a hell of a change coming into March. Like it's really going to be yeah, that three. It, it keeps you keeping a lot of threes here. Something that happens within this time frame, within February, is something's going to wrap up by the end of February and then your March. It's like it's something going to take off. Something's going to take off. Okay, so we want the sun and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for the collective. You know, it sounds kind of cumbersome and, and difficult right now, but I feel like this is actually going to be, yeah, because see, now I'm hearing again making space like if you take out the trash you're making space for new stuff to come into your life that's why i keep getting oh my god are you guys looking at this and i'm not even looking i was just sitting here talking to you all what did i say i keep getting and look what's right behind look come on now y'all come on three of pentacles and then you have the six of wands success attainment achievement victory so it's like like i said once you take out the trash and get rid of something that is no longer aligned with you then you have victory coming in. And then I say, you got the three of wands. So you could be going into, I'm mean, sorry, the three of swords. You could be going into March kind of heartbroken, still needing to heal. But it's like something's coming together and it's going to be success. Because that six of wands is going right in the direction of the three of pentacles. It's like things will become more established, more aligned, more grounded. Pentacles talks about things being grounded and secured. Once you let go of something, hands down, like that's what I'm getting here. That is definitely what I'm getting here. So in the, in the beginning, it may not have the best feeling associated with it, but I feel like, you know, this is for your soul's growth. This is for your evolution. It's time for a new start because aces, again, are brand new starts. Absolutely. Look at this. So you have the sun card right in front of it. You got the four of pentacles, and then you have the eight of wands, fast moving. Okay, so this could be fast moving communication coming out of blue unexpectedly or fast movement, like things just going in a certain direction. Like once something ends, it's like a lot of different things opportunities a lot of different points of growth for you all but i'm gonna say i do feel like somebody could be holding on for financial reasons and i said that 
If it's not you, this could be your person. Like, I really feel like somebody, and I don't have to keep it a buck. You guys know I'm from Chicago, so I keep it real because we, I, I try not to <laughs> be so blunt and brazen, but I have to be real. You know, we like to say, I'm going to keep it funky with you. Somebody, and then you guys know this. We know this whole scenario and how this rundown goes for a lot of people. Somebody could literally just be staying with someone so that they can have a roof over their head. I'm just going to be real with you. I am getting it. Somebody could be staying with someone. Because if you look at his face, I tell you guys all the time with this Four of Pentacles, this is somebody who can't trust. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. There's deception. There's deceit in this person. There's contempt. There's something that is not trustworthy in this person's energy. And you see how he's holding Pentacles. Pentacles is about your domestic life, your security, your comforts. I'm telling you right now, uh, somebody is doing something shady. And it's like, it's going to come. You're going to balance the scales. It's going to be you who's going to balance those scales. And make things right. Justice is making things right. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra also. So I'm going to put that out there as well. Okay. I'm just telling you right here. I'm getting somebody is trying to maintain. You know what? Also it's one of those things. And I see this a lot. And I, I, I always try to warn people about this. Tax money. You know. Somebody could be trying to stay in a situation until they get their tax money. Or they get some extra funds. And they may make plans to jet. And that kind of is what I'm getting with this. Like, they're just waiting for some additional funds to come in and claim some type of funds, and then they're going to just a river dirt you. They're going to get up out of there. You know, I'm getting, I'm telling you. Because you're not going to get this. And I want you to see how this, here on the table, is coming right up under this love interest. So there's definitely a love interest who has some shady intentions. Somebody has some shady intentions here that could lead to some type of heartbreak. But what you don't know is that this is a blessing in disguise because it's going to help you move forward in ways that you may not have even been aware of. For some of you guys, you could have been with this person since, um, for like eight months, eight years. Um, you could be dealing with August Leo. Possibly also, if somebody gets their taxes within the next eight days, something, this person may start acting funny, start acting real weird. Because some money has come in, you know, because you see how he's holding that chest like, okay, it's mine. Possibly $4,000. And for somebody out there, you could be like, well, that's not a lot of money. But that could be somebody's down payment for an apartment, for a condo, something like that. Somebody's just waiting for some money so that they can jet up out of here. Because it's like moving quickly out of a situation. Again, this was not this will not apply to everyone. But if you know you and your person have been talking about like tax money or some type of income that's supposed to be coming in, a lump sum of money. Be mindful about that because it does seem like there's some motive here. I can't say this enough. And it's coming right up under that two of cups. You know, so let's see what we get right here. Yeah, and that's why I'm hearing taking out the trash. Is that that's that would be a trash personality? That's a trash trait that somebody would do something, you know, spitefully because it's like this is premeditated, is what I'm getting. Two of swords, and somebody may not have wanted to see it, but kind of could sense that okay, something just doesn't feel right here. Okay, somebody's antennas. I know these are swords, but it always gives me the vibe of antennas. Somebody's antennas is up, but they don't really want to see this situation for what it is because they know heartbreak will come out of it. Hmm. I, it's just giving me the vibe that somebody's pushing the feelings behind them. You are your person. Somebody's pushing the feelings behind because if you notice behind her is the water. Anything behind you is your past or something that you're not dressing immediately because it's not right in front of you. And water talks about the emotions and feelings. Not wanting to see something for what it is. Pushing your feelings behind. Put, and, and for me, I'm getting like gut feeling. Staying guarded because if you notice, her arms are across her heart. And, and this is why someone doesn't want to see it and they're pushing their emotions behind and they're thinking like, I don't want to think the worst. I don't want to be negative because they don't want to deal with no heartbreak. But I feel like whoever this relates to, you know, you, and, and it's like the universe is bringing this up so that you can know how to move. You know, the universe is always going to allow you to be 10 steps ahead of your enemy. And I'm just going to be real with you. That's why I'm getting there. The universe is, especially when you know that you're doing what's right and you're, you're acting right in life and you don't mean harm towards anyone. If somebody is trying to do something hurtful or harmful or indecent towards you, the universe is going to protect you. And they're going to give you this heads up. And that's why I said these are swords, but give me the vibe of an antenna. And when you used to have the antennas for the TVs back in the day, what was it doing? Clearing the picture, making the picture clear. And it's like the antenna's up, so the universe is trying to make the picture clear for you, but somebody's choosing to be blindfolded, because I always say with this card, she can put them swords down. Put them swords down, girl, and take the blindfold off, but she's choosing to because she doesn't want to be heartbroken. Someone also may have had some, or does have abandonment issues, doesn't like to be alone, is, is what I'm getting also. Yeah, because, and then also there's a family structure here, so there could be children involved. Absolutely. See, that's why I said with this, this is getting, look, you got two rainbows here, and this is associated with family and unions and people that you have built a foundation with. 
You definitely could be involved in a water sign. And it's interesting because of those JS, that group, those sisters, I can only find a zodiac sign for one of them, and it was Pisces. And you do have strong Pisces here. Even with the moon, you have Pisces. So either you could be dealing with a Pisces, and Pisces season starts in um, March also. Well, it, it wraps up in March. So it's in, it, did, it is in a time frame March. So something significant could be happening in Pisces season that can affect the home life, the family structure. Again, it also, and then also look at how I parted it. It wasn't even, you know, I never parted with any intention. And this is halfway. This is thicker than this one. So it's like whatever for us to part this like this, that's definitely the message there. You guys know whatever cards are facing us, those are overlying messages. So I feel like someone may feel as though things are not going in their favor, but I actually feel like this is a, I really feel like this is a blessing in disguise is what I'm getting here. Yeah, because it's now, it's going to help you move forward. Okay. And if you notice right here, we got the King of Swords in reverse. And we are currently in Aquarius season. You guys know that wraps up on the 18th. Sword of a Jet, Sword Down is No. So it's like whatever this person is doing, they're not doing it. They're, they're not making decisions wisely or fairly or justly. Because again, we have the Justice card. The World card is travel distance for a movement. Again, I feel like whatever this situation is, it's going to make you um, move in a different direction quicker than you plan to also. And for a lot of y'all who are worried about this heartbreak and hurt, I actually feel like you will have so much good stuff happening in your life once something wraps up that this is going to catapult you to move forward, okay? So you got, again, Leo energy. And I was mentioning that you got Leo, Leo here. And then the Six of Wands we've seen before in the pre-shuffle. That's Leo as well. So it could definitely be involved in Leo. You got Leo. You got Taurus. You can have April Taurus here because you have the Four of Pentacles. Again, you have Aquarius. And then you have um, Scorpio. And you did have multiple water sign cards, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to get into um, the Moon card first. Because you guys know the Moon for me is always the past as the Sun is the future. I just seen a Justice card again. Look at that. You guys got brand new love coming in once you move away from something else. Something very specific with Aries season and Pisces season. You are love interests first. We up. See, look at that. And I'm going to put this down as it is so I won't change the direction. Yeah, something with love interests. I can't make this up. You got major kind of lovers. And that's a definite energy. And that is Gemini. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. That two of swords with Gemini energy also. Um, You got the ace of cups. So you already had the ace of wands. Now you got the ace of cups. So you guys got brand new... With that wise, it's like putting in some type of action. Whatever action you put in, it's going to move you in a positive direction where emotionally you're going to feel fulfilled. Um, on a romantic level, you're going to be fulfilled. And also, I don't, I've don't, i never seen this like this, but again, the name of the song I heard was Laundromat. Now, first of all, I want you to notice, the name of the song is Laundromat. Neither one of them have on clothes. So it's time to strip down and do that cleaning that I was talking about. Some of you guys need to change like your wardrobe if you can afford to or, you know, and I know a lot of people have to fuss with my kids about this too. Like when you buy clothes, don't just put that shit on. You got to wash that. You know, other people are trying that stuff on too. And that's energetic debris. So I'm getting that also. But the fact they are stripped down is definitely saying like there's, you know, clothes that needs to be washed, things like that. And also stripping down and taking off layers. Clothes are layers. Stripping those layers of yourself and acknowledging who you are. Because over the years, you know, we just add layer after layer after layer to our personality, to our life. And then they're saying it's time for you to wash that shit. Because I don't, I, I don't never typically see this car like this, but when I think about laundromat, of course you need water to wash your clothes and you see how that's spilling over. And I don't know, this is making me think about a spin cycle for some reason. So that's very much tying into the energy that I heard. Again, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy here. First, middle, last, initial, W, M, T, J, C, U, H, A, E, P, or S. First, middle, last, initial for you or a love interest. You got an ace here and you got a major icon. This is powerful energy here. Let's see what's behind this. I'm being guided to look at, wow, wow, I see. That's why I always listen to my intuition. I want you guys to see this. I'm not bothering anything. Let, let me tell you something. You keep getting all these threes. Something for a lot of you guys is happening in March. <laughs> so this is like your fourth or fifth three. You had three of Pentacles twice in your main um, shuffle. Then you got the three of Swords here. And now you got three of Wands. You have all these threes. Definitely look up angel number 333 because there are definitely messages for you. And I'm going to tell you again, something is gonna, something very significant is going to happen in March. And I know this also because the three of wands is looking towards the future. March would definitely be in the future because right now we're in February, right? But I do want to adjust this. We had this card. Did we not? We had the temperance card. And there you go again. I can't make this up. So something's going to wrap up for a lot of you guys in March. But it was time for it to wrap up. You know what I mean? The moon, things, hidden things, unknown things we don't have clarity about. The lovers. So you have literally 
three ma this is insane you got three major arcanas and then right behind you got three of swords so they're definitely telling you something's gonna happen in march for some of you guys three days three weeks are gonna be very significant also and then with that ace of cups you do have brand new love coming in so if, if there's a fear of letting something go because you're used to it it looks like the universe is pulling somebody in who is more aligned with you also with the lovers this is very much a, um adam and eve type of card and if you think about the story of adam and eve there was temptation so some of you guys this was a karmic situation there a lot of things were hidden with the moon it was like you know only time was going to be able to reveal some things because things were just waiting in the west wing like only time was revealing and i feel like now is the time like something is being revealed here okay something is definitely being revealed to get all those major icons that yeah you guys have new love coming in so whoever this person is that you're severing ties with it was time for that to happen and you would know it yeah it wasn't time for you guys to be together it's somebody else in the picture now this could be somebody leaving because he is walking off the premises and then a new love coming in whatever the case i just feel like i'm telling you right now i feel like for a lot of you all Pisces season is going to be a big time in involving love situations but it's something that started off in february that's going to play out in March. I hope that wasn't confusing. You guys get what I'm saying. Look at this. I can't make this up. You got the Empress. What number is she? Three. I'm telling you, something's going to happen. Now, anytime you got an Empress or an Emperor in verse, that's a divorce. That's a separation. That's an ending of a relationship. That's a pair who are meant to stand the test of time. You got her in reverse. Then it's like somebody may have just like not been romantic. They, they're losing the fire. They're losing the passion because now you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Cups is the prince or princess char charming. Somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet. You got to reverse. You got both of these people in reverse. And then his back is going in a different direction. Again, that water, Pisces season is going to be very significant. Whatever played out, especially during Valentine's Day, because this is giving me love day vibes here. It, it, it's wrapping something up, but it's something that was long gone. Like somebody may have just been trying to fight for a relationship. And some something was presented or... There is a realization is what I'm getting here. Four of Wands, marriage, long-term commitment. That's why I said somebody could be married or it could be a situation where you guys live together. You got their castle. You have a lot of family together. Now, this castle could also be a home or um, a work situation as well. As far as a work situation, a lot of you guys have been knowing for a while it's time for you to go in a different direction also because those wands are is, is facing a different direction. It's going opposite of the money. So it's like a lot of you all know it's time for you to go in a different direction. Okay, so for the moon, we're going to clarify the two of cups first. We're going to clarify for the two of cups associated with the moon for the collective. Two of cups associated with the moon. Okay, you had a couple cards flip out there on there, but I'm only going to take what's up right. And I want you guys to see this. I can't make it up. You guys see this card, and so I'm just going to move it as it was. They flip down. But look what flipped up. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. That's a pair, and she's single. And I want you guys to see, I'm going to tell you again, something's going to happen in March. Because uh, remember, I kept telling you, I've seen the three of pentacles multiple times. There's nine pentacles here, but behind her back, there's three. What's behind your back is the past. Somebody's leaving a relationship in the past. That's what I'm getting right here. That's a couple, that's single woman, single man, hands down. Definitely could be an earth sign involved, yeah. And you got, again, a five of pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Somebody trying to chase up behind you. And I'm going to tell you what I've seen with this. Like, somebody may be trying to hold on for dear life. Like, four of pentacles is always my holding on for dear life. Like, refusing to relinquish your hold. And for financial reasons. Because I feel like you're well off financially or this person. Somebody's well off financially. And the loss of income is scary. That's why he's chasing up behind her. That is exactly what you got there, Okay. Yep, scared of losing money. Page of Pentacles in reverse. There's a fear of losing some type of income, some type of stability. That's exactly what it is. And, and you know, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that's what I'm getting here. That's why some, and that's, I remember I was saying like something, went, you know, around this time for a lot of people, they're getting payouts of their income taxes and things like that in March also. Something is with your income taxes or some type of income that you two have together. Is what I'm getting. And again, that wouldn't apply to everyone, but I'm, I'm telling you what I'm getting here. And I've, I've been hearing these stories a lot. So I'm, I'm just telling you. You got the three of swords in reverse. Let's get a clarifier for the three of swords in reverse. Huh. I just heard somebody needs to open up a different bank account. Okay. And that flipped up quickly. Okay. As soon as I said bank account, you got pentacles. I'm telling you right now. There's someone who's counting on additional funds so that they can move on and go in a different direction. May already be indulging in some type of relationship. 
And I know this reading feels very heavy, but I'm just telling you guys what I'm getting here. I'm just being honest. I knew right then when I heard the song Laundromat, because that's what she was talking about, like getting rid of someone who was like just, you know, holding her back where things weren't going in the way that she wanted to go. Laundromat, of course, like I said, it requires water. And again, this is making me think about spin cycles, like that water. Toilet for Capricorn, but also that water energy. That's what I'm saying. Something. And then remember, I kept saying, and it's, it's interesting because you got the Three of Swords. And we can really clarify that with this card. And then you got one, two, three waves of water. Something is happening in Pisces season. I'm telling you right now. And it's going to affect stability. And it's going to affect finances for some. I feel like you guys are going to be fine regardless. I really do. I feel like you're going to be fine regardless. If, if that is your fear, you're going to be fine regardless. And then you have those two ships, relationships. There's two relationships that are going to be affected by the situation. Or like I said... Someone is already in a relationship, but they may be trying to move on to a different one, like, immediately already, is what I'm getting as well. Hmm. Yeah, that's the... Your, your, both of your clarifiers are pinnacles. You have the nine right here, and you got two right there. Someone could be a life path number 11. You are your person. You also could be dealing with someone whose birthday is in November as well, Okay. Bottom of the deck, you got the six of wands reversing. And it's crazy because I'm literally hearing how you gonna win when you ain't right within. Uh-uh. Come again. He ain't right. Look at his eyes. He is not right. I'm literally hearing how you gonna win when you ain't right within. And if you go back, it's interesting. If you go back in the beginning of the video, one of the things that I called was Lauren. Lauren Hill said that in the song Do Out That Thing. And wow, okay, thank you, universe. So I'm gonna say again, somebody is trying to use someone because in that song, Do Wop, that thing, she was literally saying, like, how somebody is like, they'll use you for sex or they'll use you for whatever they can use you for, and then they disappear. That's what she said, and that's what I'm getting right here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this message is not gonna be well received because I feel like there's quite a few people who are in denial, but it's like the signs are everywhere. Is what I'm getting. Like, some type of sign is everywhere. I feel like it's already been seen. That's why you got the Three of Swords there. You're not going to have the Three of Swords unless it's something like impending heartbreak or there's a heartbreak that's already aligned. I just feel like there's a user in this situation. There's a user in this situation. A user and manipulator in this situation. But they're not going to win. Six of Wands are right at success, attainment, achievement, and victory. This is in reverse. Again, I'm going to say what I heard. How you going to win when you ain't right within? This person is shady. Back to the Leo energy. You got Leo here quite a bit. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the Four of Pentacles. Wow. And it's like even when I just said that, I got goosebumps. And that's how I know for a fact that message is very significant for somebody out there. It's very significant. You're dealing with a prankster, or a trickster, a manipulator for someone. Get a clarifier for the four of pentacles associated with the sun. You guys know the sun is a brand new day, something that's getting ready to come in. Yeah, this is no Romeo. This is no Romero. Okay, this is not somebody who's gonna sweep you off your feet. Going back to we already had in the very beginning, you had the um knight of cups, and then it was in reverse. Now you have the page cups in reverse. This is somebody like that, and I'm also gonna tell you this person's plan plan is gonna fall apart again. Going back until Pisces season, I'm really getting that. The page of cups, the page of the messenger, like coming in with some type of information, some type of message. Um, I feel like right here, the message is that this person is not telling you their true intentions here. I'm definitely getting that. Anybody in reverse, anytime you have people who are in reverse, that means it's somebody who's doing something shady. So their intentions are not pure. They're not going to win because a right, he has this, this fish in there. You know, fish is like... A source of being sustained, nourishment, you know, something that you have that you could trade or make money from. In reverse, this person is going to lose it. They, they're trying so hard to be manipulative and get over. They're actually going to lose everything. Because upside down, whatever you had in your grasp and your hold is falling out. So this person is, they're actually losing. They're losing you too. Especially if you yourself are a Piscean or have strong Pisces places in, their, in your chart. They're going to lose you with this mentality here. I can tell you that much. And rightfully so. Let's get a clarifier. And then the bottom of the deck, you got the two of wands. Um, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> You're keeping these tools. Tools about choices need to be made. Decisions. Duality. Options. Okay. Two of wands. Is, look at it. He's holding that globe. Two of wands talks about need to choose a destination or a direction to go in. And reverses like somebody is unsure which way to go. But we're getting ready to clarify this card, which is definitely on the go. So I feel like whatever happens here... 
you know, and this is interesting also. I'm, I, I, guess I want you all to see this placement here. Just really look at this, okay? So you, both of these are cards of water, right? The fish is outside of the cup right here, and the fish is in the cup right here. This is somebody who's being free. Because keep in mind, this is in reverse. Somebody was feeling stuck or stayed in a situation. You're becoming free. And that's why he's right up under that rainbow. You're becoming free. Okay, I'm getting that also. And then I also just heard, you know, when you dream of fish, somebody could find out that they're pregnant. Or also needing to go with the flow of change is what I'm getting also. Because you have one, two, three, four cards that have water in it. And remember, I did mention Aries season also. And Aries season is in April as well. So, you know, going with the flow. Okay. But right now, being unsure about what to do, how you can move forward. But keep in mind, we're in February. And you have two wands here. So two months from now would be April. So there could be an ending of a relationship or a situation in March. Or if it's not just a relationship, also as far as work, there could be a wrapping up, like putting in your two weeks notice because you do got that too. Or someone needing to put in a two weeks notice. Somebody needs to make a decision about a job also because you see these pinnacles here. Like not sure if you should take the job because you don't know if it's safe. It's time for you to move on to a new job, a new place of employment. I'm getting also. Okay. That's going to clarify for the eight of wands. And I'm saying that very clearly because that's what I'm hearing very clearly. If it's about a job, it's time for you to put in that two weeks notice if, if another job has offered you something because it's coming in. Now this flips sideways, so I'm going to take it sideways. And it's that Knight of Cups again. Huh. So upright again, this is your knight or princess shining armor. Somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet. Definitely an option of love coming in. In reverse, it's like something leaving or this person not coming forward with some type of offer. But sideways, again, I'm getting this because there's time for you to move on from a certain relationship so that a new one can come in. But it's sideways because you, it can't come in if you're feeling indecisive here. And then furthermore, going back to the two of wands, two of wands is talking about taking action. So if you don't take an action to move forward out of a situation that is no longer aligned with you, you're not allowing this new person to come in. Also, in a relationship, you could be hearing someone say, I want to fight for this. Let's, let's make it work. Because knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. Clearly, he does not look like he's going into battle. And then, again, with that energy of water, it's like going with the flow, which makes me feel like, like I said, somebody's just in a relationship because it's comfortable, because it's sustaining. Monetary reasons, bottom of the deck, but you got the sun reverse. I can't make this up. <laughs> it's something that's not making someone happy here. Because the sun card is the most vibrant, happiest card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Happy, joy, contentment, um, newness coming in. In reverse, it's like the opposite of that. Everything that's opposite of those words, you know, chaos, drama, depression, not feeling joy, not feeling contentment. And I, I kept telling you, you had a lot of Leo here, so definitely some strong Leo. There you go again, some damn Leo. <laughs> so you got the page of wands. And right behind that, you have the empress. Again, something that's going to look. And I want you to see this. There's a couple, there's another card right here. And then right, but what wanted to be seen was the full card taking a leap of faith into something new. Aquarius, um, Aries. And I just want you guys to know, I'm going to say again, something will happen in March. Okay. If you look at this, you got the five of cups. Of those five cups, he's looking at three that are spilt over. But like I keep telling you all, it's like if you're trying to hold on to this relationship because that's all you know and you don't want to be single, you don't want to start over. Uh, too bad, so sad. The universe like, we already got you back. It's something else coming in. Because the two of cups, which you already have here, that's a new relationship. So it's like immediately, and, that, and we're not saying like to jump into something immediately after you um, get out of some type of situation, but here's how the situation differs, right? Say for instance, you leave a relationship this in, in February and you meet somebody new in March and people say, well, you need time to heal. You need time to, you know, just find yourself because you'll get into a new relationship and it'll be a rebound. I agree with that. But also when it comes to this specific situation that I'm picking up, I'm getting like, Whoever this person you were with, it did, it felt like you were alone anyway. It didn't feel like you were already in a relationship, a loving, devoted, happy, this is in reverse, happy relationship. It didn't feel like that. So it doesn't feel like there's an extended period of time where you just need time to yourself because it does feel like you've already been feeling like you were alone even in that situation. You get what I'm saying? So when this person comes in, it just seems like it's going to be right. It's going to be a perfect fit because like I said, and for some of you guys, it could be a fire sign, it was specifically Leo. But like I said, there's three cups spilled over. You got three of swords here. You got three of pentacles multiple times. And then right behind him, you got the two of cups upright. And then you got two of cups here. So they're definitely saying like, there's a new love interest coming in for a lot of you guys. And, and here's the thing also, that doesn't mean if you meet somebody in March that you have to immediately jump into a relationship. It's not saying that. It's, what I'm getting is like, they're saying be open to it. 
Because he didn't come upright or reverse, he came sideways. So they're saying be open to it and just build a rapport. Even if you need time to yourself to just heal, do that. But I'm definitely getting that, you know, there's somebody on their way in towards you in March or this person's birthday is in March. Also, I'm going to say again, some of you guys are confused about whether or not you should move forward with a new place of employment. Okay, because that two of pentacles, that's definitely like, okay, I have a, to make a, a decision between this one or that one. So I'm getting that also needing to make a decision. So you're not sure whether or not you should move forward with something because the knights are also, not only are they going into battle or coming out of battle, they're also going on some type of journey, some type of adventure. So for some of you guys, that could be happening. Like something, you could, if you, I'm getting also, if you apply for something, because you also got that too, which is March, um, February, which we're in right now. If you start applying to jobs, because these pinnacles make me definitely think about something that affects your money. If you start applying to jobs and things like that, you can get the job immediately. And you need to make a decision about whether or not you should leave. And for some of you guys, this could be scary. Because not only is the Three of Swords like heartbreak, but this is like, okay, this is kind of scary. Because I don't feel like I have control over the situation. I'm not sure what to do. You know? And so some of you guys could feel like it's kind of scary because you've been at your job for a while. Possibly eight plus years. Or you started in August of some year. And you guys will know, like, pending from your anniversary of a job and place of employment or something like that. Whatever the case... This could cause some type of confusion because, again, you got the Three of Swords, hmm, and then you got the Five of Pentacles. And I'm just going to say right now, three plus five, I mean, three plus two is five, and five is all about change. And remember, this is the clarifier for the Three of Swords. Three plus two is five. Five in numerology is all about change. So there's some type of change that's meant to happen in your financial life. Definitely some type of change that's meant to happen in your relationship status. Again, this would only apply if you know that you've been feeling for a while, like I'm in a relationship, but I feel single. Like I don't feel, we don't do anything together. We don't go anywhere. And it goes back to that Valentine's thing I'm hearing also, like if you're big on that type of stuff, like you didn't go anywhere, do anything. And I'm not saying like this, if this person has money issues, that's different. But some of you guys know, like this person is just full of it. Like this person could have said, well, I didn't have any money to do anything. You see this like withholding, keeping something, omitting things. Being selfish and greedy. This person could have said like, oh, well, I didn't have money to take you out. I had to pay these bills. I had to do this. I had to do that. Not coming in, being charming and romantic, male or female. And some of you guys are like, yeah, that's BS. I, it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to move on and go in a different direction. And I, like I said, even if you don't feel like that right now, I definitely feel like there's going to be a major switch up in, um, in March for a lot of you all. Whatever the case is necessary. So that you can have this new growth, this new expansion. This is expansion. It's, it's like sky's the limit because you see how it's flying towards the sky. So it's, this is expansion and growth. And it, but it very well could come out of something that is very heartbreaking or triggering. Is what I'm getting also. Okay? So thank you so much, Collective, for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.